The first movement we're going to introduce is the back extension. Now this is one of the more common movements you can use on the glute ham developer and you've probably seen it before, but we wanna talk through some of the coaching points and reasons why you should be doing it. So let's have Doug set up here. Now the back extension is a great movement for teaching a hip hinge because it has very little knee flexion. So our legs are gonna be straight and we're gonna be hinging just at the hip joint right here. So Doug is gonna go through a couple reps of what it should look like. Now with the back extension, we're just just hinging at the hips, which is a little counterintuitive to the name because the back is actually not extending. Our core is going to stay tight the entire time. As you notice here, Doug is going down as far as he can until he feels himself start to lose his upper body. If the upper body starts rounding at all, you're going too low. You wanna make sure all the tension is kept in the lower body and the upper body is just stable. We're pulling from the glutes and the hamstrings. You should feel like your hamstrings are like cables pulling your torso upright. It's not a swinging movement, it needs to done it needs to be done very controlled and smoothly like Doug is here. Good job, Doug. Now, for more advanced athletes, we got a couple variations that we can do, and that's a loaded variation. Now, we have a band here under the pegs, but you can also do this with a dumbbell or a medicine ball, but we're gonna have Doug use the band right here because it gives a little bit of a unique resistance at the top, being the hardest at the top position. And now Doug's gonna throw it over his shoulders and go through the back extension. This is going to make even more of a challenge on the upper body because now we're loaded from the top down and we're still focusing on squeezing, maintaining tension. So that is your back extension.